This weekend is the 29th annual Fox Cities Marathon. Many runners training for months in advance. Our Emily Byer joins us live. And Nina with more on the big race weekend. Good morning, Em. Good morning, Brooke. Hello, everyone. So we are here at Riverside Park, and I was just talking with the, one of the organizers, and they told me when you see, oh, you can see a runner over there right now. When you see those boats over here coming, this is the finish line. So it's good for those runners. They always know the finish line is just around the corner once they see the boats. Beautiful out here this morning as the fog's starting to lift. I'm joined by Tara Perry. Tell us a little bit more. You guys are kind of getting everything ready because tonight is the kids' run. Correct. So over at Fox City Stadium, we'll have the Diaper Dash and the Toddler Trot and the Guardian Kids Fun Run. So that's a lot of fun for the littlest ones. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the Expo kicking off over at UW Fox Cities. And so people can be picking up their packets. We have over 40 vendors. We have seminars. There's a lot going on today. Yeah. And we want to touch on a little bit about parking because it gets a little crazy down here, but all for a good reason, obviously, with the marathon. But tell us a little bit more about parking. Sure. So just getting around on race day is... Uh, can be you know you just have to plan it out so um, we encourage people to use our shuttle services you can find out more information on our marathon website but we also have um, a lot of information about road closures um, parking in the downtown area there's a lot of public parking you can go on residential streets so it's just I would encourage people to check out where the road closures are so they know where to go and not get trapped inside the loop. There you go. Prepare, fail to plan, plan to fail. There yeah. you go. Um, so tell me now, people can still sign up for the 5K. They can, but I would encourage them to go to the expo tonight to do that because we are almost full, which is a great problem. Um, <laughs> but it'll be a lot of fun in the morning. We'll be right here at Riverside Park. Our 5K is stroller friendly. It's dog friendly. And they get to experience the same finish line atmosphere as our Sunday racers. Perfect. So a lot of good information there, you guys. We're going to have more for you on our website, NBC26.com. So you got your parking, everything planned out, and maybe sign up for that 5K. Brooke, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Emily.